Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, I accomplished the most difficult jiggy in the game. Managed to make my way under the ship behind it to grab the jiggy from inside the propellers, which have turned back on. Go figure that those propellers have physical properties, by the way. Not only do you have to get in there and out of there before they turn back on, but you have to actually have to squeeze between them. So, better have good aim with your swimming. Although, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I think that the game is actually kind of forgiving if you run out of time while in there, and it'll actually wait until you're out of there. I think. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, with that particular jiggy out of the way, I can actually relax now. Uh, somewhat. I still have to be super careful here because... Uh, this place is still hard. Even with that particular challenge out of the way, I could still very much die. I mean, the good news is, I don't have to worry about any more bottomless pits. It's more a matter of things that can kill me. And believe you me, there are things that can kill me in this level. So definitely wish me some luck. Alright, I think first I'm going to explore the outer area of the ship. Now that we've done the propeller situation. I'll save the ship for last. For a very specific reason, which I will get into when we get there. For now, this place has a whole lot of indoor areas. Lots to explore here. One up up there. I can't remember what is down. Besides water. Down is relatively safe aside from the suffoc suffocating oily water. Notes over there, which I definitely want. How do I get over there again? Ah, that's right. I almost failed that. Thank goodness for a first-person view. Although, you know, first-person view always disappointed me in these 3D platformers. I feel like if you're going to go into first-person view, you should have Banjo's big honker at the bottom of the screen. I mean, look at this thing, if we were at a closer view. That thing is definitely big enough to obscure his vision. No, I, I can't move the camera right now. But trust me, he's got a big honker. Yep, sure enough, the uh, water in here also takes away your air. If I didn't have that cheat on for funsies. Now, if you didn't have the cheat on, what you need to do as you wander around is constantly hop up in the air so that you're not constantly running out of air. Which is pretty logical now that I put it that way. Okay, time to help this little guy. I'm trapped! Help! Get this thing off Snorkel! Aww, oh, that, that sucks. Especially considering, you know, the toxic water. Thank goodness, he is an air breather. 
I would not want to be a fish swimming in this. And somehow get turned around. Like, imagine having to actually breathe this toxic water. It's bad enough breathing near it. But to actually have to breathe the water itself? Yeah. You'd probably be dead in a hurry. Or at the very least, really, really sick. Oh, by the way. See? Big schnoz. I suppose that if you were seeing Banjo's nose in first person view, you wouldn't want it to obscure too much of his vision. I mean, it would kind of make first person view a little less than helpful. Alright, time to go ahead and lift the anchor. Hopefully we do not slice the purpose in half in the process. Oop, nope, I did. That's a bummer. Thanks, nice, guys! I found this air earlier. It's yours. Cool! So, got ourselves another Jiggy. I wasn't able to tell, but I think he actually farts it out. Or am I thinking of a different Jiggy? I might be thinking of a different Jiggy. Any case, we got that one. Let's grab it. Then from here, where do I want to go? It is definitely interesting swimming this place with the cheat on. Oh. Uh, speaking of being a creature that has to actually breathe this nasty stuff, apparently Snacker is surviving in it quite well. Okay, camera, I need you to cooperate with me because there's a hole here. A very hard to see hole, but a hole nonetheless. I like those life preserver enemies. The whole thing whenever you kill them. That's silly. Okay, first I grab that button. Am I grabbing it? I mean, punch it with Kazooie's beak. Bottles was right. We are making a lot of use with this move. You think Kazooie's used to it at this point? Maybe Breakles are put part woodpecker. That would certainly be helpful. I mean, they got the red in them. It's just Briggles are all red instead of just the hair. Oops. That's gonna hurt. Don't do that. Okay, that's both of the honeycomb pieces in this level. Now I get to deal with you again. Now he disappeared. Ideally, I would have come into this section from above so that I could have had a head start. And then I could kill Snacker. Like so. No more snacker. At least for the moment. Actually, I needed to go up there anyway. Okay. While I give credit to Banjo-Kazooie for having a pretty decent camera overall, it is actually really annoying how the camera is unmovable in places like that.
Maddie Reddy says, I'd imagine some of it is Kazooie's own hard-headedness. Well, if you want to take that literally, sure. Honestly, if being hard-headed worked that way, you would see a lot more people being hard-headed. It would be beneficial towards your everything, for sure. Okay, so, Toxic Waste. Definitely gonna take damage from this. Thankfully not instant death, just basic damage. Unless you were doing Wishy Washy Banjo. As it turns out, Wishy Washy Banjo is immune to this stuff. Of course, um, there was no way I was going to actually take the time to go through uh, Bottles minigames again to get it. So, no Wishy Washy Banjo for this level. Even if it would have been really helpful. Do I want to go up there yet? I'll take a peek up there. Might be notes. Yep, there's notes. I'll be back here later, though. That's part of a puzzle on the ship. So that first toll booth I encountered, by the way, is the only one in the level where it gives you a fake toll and you actually have to put in more. The rest of them, it's a straightforward toll. It's kind of tricksy. Okay, before I proceed, what am I dealing with in here? Bees? I can deal with bees by ignoring them. These slug monsters come in all sorts of sizes. One more note. And I was paying too much attention to the note. How much do I want some health? Um... I'm not going to waste my uh, gold feathers on those bees if I don't have to. Besides, I still need them. Might as well grab these eggs while I'm here. I don't necessarily need all the eggs e Well, actually... Having all the eggs would certainly... help. Yeah, eggs are good to have. You guys need to not be bouncing out of the way of my eggs. Like, seriously. And one more. So, as you might have noticed earlier, there's actually two ways to deal with- Oh, I forgot that was a thing. There's actually two ways to deal with those guys. The easiest way is, of course, shooting them with a few eggs. Of course, there is also getting close to them so they try to blow up on top of you. I kind of prefer the egg method myself. As I imagine most people would. Hi! 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 Bye! Okay, let's see. I heard a Jinjo somewhere in here. There you are. And I think there's something higher up I saw. Maybe... Yeah, here we are. 
another memo token. I'll definitely have to keep in mind to head back into the engine room of the ship so that I can get the three memo tokens in there. Again, though, not until after I've collected everything else. Just red feathers up here? Yep, I guess that's it then. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I can't make it further until I get on the ship. So, on to the ship we go. Might as well solve this one puzzle while I'm at it. What did I say anyway? Danger? Yep, danger. So far, I seem to be managing this level pretty well. How many notes am I at right now? 62? I'm more than halfway through the level then. So hopefully something stupid doesn't happen, and I don't die. Oh, maybe it was this timed event that waits for you to get out of the way. That would make sense. It is a very polite crate. Honestly, if Gruntilda would take advantage of that, she could have it drop on Banjo-Kazooie. They are so busy dancing with the Jiggy, they don't have a chance to escape. That could totally be the end of their adventure right there, if Gruntilda was smart enough. But she probably is not the one that handles this place. The management of it. She probably just owns it. Or maybe she just has a cousin who works here. Clever. If you didn't know about that area there, so that you can reach the final Cheeto, going after that would kind of clue you into it. Nice view from up here, by the way. Okay, enough sightseeing. Time to move onward. <sighs> that. That is certainly a thing. It is a thing that I have no intention of going into until I'm done with everything else. Most everything else. Member tokens aside. Alright, I didn't need that bridge, but I wanted to grab it for completion's sake. And now I'm just being silly. Ideally, I will avoid getting knocked off by these guys because there's no ladder nearby. Oh! How about that? Rare flag. Okay, anything else I want over here? Guess not. What's on this crate over here? 
I'm kind of curious. Nothing on the crate? I guess these crates are just here to give you a chance of getting out of the toxic water. Yeah, this is the rusty bucket, all right. TWY Cross England. Is that an actual place? I'm kind of curious. Uh, ladder, ladder, where's the ladder? Oh, wait, never mind. Crate! I believe that is everything on the outside of the ship. The next thing on the to-do list is everything back on the ship. Except, of course, for the, uh, that first jiggy I got. Because, screw that jiggy. So Stripeback says that's apparently where Rare is based. Neat. Anyway, before we reboard the ship, I think it is time to go into our second episode break of the stream. Uh, possibly the final one.